um, well, it must be incredibly tough to take that quarter to the lead at the Emirates. Um, a fantastic start, what's one of your overall first overall emotion after that? Yeah, of course, bitterly disappointed at this moment, uh, as are the players, um, as I'm sure are the supporters, um, to put in that much work and effort and to push the team that are five points clear at the top of the league at their stadium that close um, was a huge, huge effort from everybody. Um, so, yeah, most teams that come here get dispatched fairly easily. Um, and we didn't. We put up a real good fight um, and gutted for the players and everyone connected with the club that we suffer a, a late blow. Of course, I had to lead off nine seconds. Did that change the mentality at all? Because, of course, obviously, you want people to come here. No, yeah, game plan was the same. Um, Arsenal are the best team in the league. They're, they're five points clear. Um, so yeah, we were. We knew we needed to be solid. We knew they'd dominate the ball. We knew we'd need to defend. Um, so yeah, obviously the the kickoff routine that we worked, you don't expect to score from, but thought we could catch them with. But we did. Um, probably puts Arsenal on the front foot a little bit more. But uh, yeah, to be 2 0 up at the Emirates and to have created some opportunities on the counter and defend our goal the way we did took a, a big, big effort from everyone. Um, you've lost an hour, obviously, before you conceded. It's conceded for another set piece, I know it's been quite a while since you last conceded, but it is 15 now. You've conceded twice today. Is that quite frustrating that it's another set piece goal that you conceded? Yeah, I think. Arsenal ask you a lot of questions. They were, they were around our box a lot, so we're going to have to defend more set plays, defend crosses, defend sort of underlaps, defend shots from the edge of the box. Um, like I say, yeah, I don't think many people would have expected us to come here and trouble Arsenal. Um, and we did, we came up a little bit short. Well, you talked quite a bit about um, the five in the top line, but it seemed like Arsenal had six. Was that something mm -hmm. for? Was that kind of the very quickly went to Chuck and Zinchenko out, left out wide, made it six up top. Was that something you anticipated? Yeah, we, we were prepped for, for every situation they used, yeah. So, um, but just because you're prepped for it doesn't mean you stop it. I think, um, yeah, they're, they're five points clear at the top of the league for a reason. So, um, like I say, to, to make it the game it was, took a lot of effort. So, um, yeah, proud of what they produced. But obviously at this moment, hard not to feel anything but, but gutted from the, from the result. Yeah, lads are very down, of course. Um, been there, know what it feels like um, to put in so much work and come up, whatever it was, five seconds short maybe, um, is, is a big blow. But they'll, they'll be fine, similar to me, obviously devastated right now. Um, but yeah, hours and maybe a day, you, you get back to work. Um, Liverpool are coming next week and we'll be ready to go again. Both of them felt some tightness sort of after the uh, Man City game, sort of into a couple of training sessions, didn't feel quite right. So, um, yeah, they, they were both unavailable. So, made made the task a little bit tougher, of course. We're, we're missing a few. We, yeah, we, we, need to, we need to sort that situation, really. We need to get as many players back as we can. It's tough enough as it is without, without having key players missing. It's frustrating to lose the way you did, but can you take a lot of positives away from the game? Like you said, you've created a lot of chances. I want to play from Dominic Slanky. Yeah, I think it. There, there will be loads of positives. I think um, that they're, they're an excellent side, but a, a fantastic football side. So coming here, I mean, it could have gone any way, really. You see Everton come in the week and they, they hold out for a little while, but then Arsenal were creating chances every few seconds and cutting teams open, and that, that, that's how good they are. So. To come to cause them a few problems to defend as well as we did was a, was a big effort. Like I say, there, there will be positives. Just obviously at this moment, the, well, the positives won't mean anything eventually because you, you take no points. But um, if we can just continue, we've had a tough little run of fixtures that we, we're going through, um, and we've had a real good go at them. Um, so we need we need to keep that going. Yeah, the kickoff was prepared. Um, yeah, just something I thought of. Yeah, sort of day before yesterday, maybe. But yeah, you don't expect to score from it. Just thought maybe you could catch them cold, get up the pitch quickly. Um, 
so yeah, obviously gave us a lovely start and then a, a nice routine for the for the corner goal. Um, real real big chance. Aaron Ramsdale makes an incredible save on the on the counter attack. Um, but of course they 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 arrive in our final third an awful lot. Um, the lads put in an awful lot of work. Um, and you, you suffer to an incredible strike from the edge of the box um, with with maybe two or three kicks of the game left. Okay. Well, the end is obviously just a sort of excitement over to the Arsenal bench and in the stadium and in the crowd. It seems to be a little bit of an argument between someone from your bench with, with the Arsenal at the end. I mean, was it, do you understand why they couldn't contain themselves and were on the pitch with the side of celebrating? Ah, I have no comment to make on on what Arsenal did. I wasn't even concentrating. I was straight on to make sure my lads were, were okay, get them up, get them ready to go again. Shook, shook hands with Mikel. But yeah, it was a game that he needed to win, a game that I needed to try and get something from. And we, yeah, we went to battle and he came out on top. By, and then we shake hands and we move on. Yeah, I mean, it's not, not for me to comment on. Um, they, they score a goal, they celebrate how they want. I don't. I don't want any credit. And the team scored a goal from it, so there's about 35 of us involved in it. So um, yeah, the, the club. Yeah, I, I. I don't know. I haven't seen the exact time of it. Um, yeah, I haven't looked at it enough. Obviously, uh, Adam Smith was down injured for a little bit of the the six minutes. So yeah, I don't. I don't know exactly where it fell. Um, obviously disappointed, but yeah. Well, I mean. We need, we need to carry out the next action always until the ref says the game's over. So um, we came up one action short. And just quickly on the substitution of Zamora for Fredericks in the middle of the second half, was that because of an injury or was that just a call the entire game? Yeah, no, I just thought he was starting to struggle a little bit. So, um, and yeah. I was surprised to see uh, so many went from the off. I was actually expecting to see uh, Anthony actually play. Was there any reason so many started? Yeah, just a counter attack threat, mm -hmm. just real pace. Um, knew that we would. We would need to counter from deep today, so um, felt that we would get our best situations from having real pace up there, and we did. We just didn't didn't quite convert them. Was there a moment when you just looked around your bench and your staff and you thought, "We've got this. We're going we're to win this match." No, not at all. No, Arsenal were going to come back. I mean, they were going to throw everything at it. Um, you, you, while it's two 0 you feel like, "Yeah, okay, if we can hold them at bay." Um, from the very first minute of the game, you expect Arsenal to dominate, cause you problems, create chances. That's, that's, that's what happened. So, um, yeah, no, at no moment did I feel like, yeah, we're, we're going to win this today. I just felt like, come on, boys, next action. Let's go. Need to see out another one's coming again. Um, so, yeah, uh, I mean, when you'd seen out six of six minutes and you had one last corner to defend, you you hope you leave with a point, but but we don't. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They'll, they'll be very, very close. They're, um, yeah, we've played the best two teams in the last two weeks. So, um, yeah, it'll be one of those, I'm sure. Just one for me. Uh, mm. Uh, yeah, I'd have to look back. I think um, I can only remember a few. They were probably less than normal because of Arsenal's dominance. Um, yeah, Dango should probably score. It's an incredible save from, from Aaron Ramsdale, of course, but... Should probably end up in the goals, probably the best chance in the game. Um, yeah, there'll probably be some other ones, maybe one where Dom doesn't quite get it across to him. Um, yeah, I think we, we could have been better. We could have been better. Um, but it is a tough ask away at the Emirates. Like I say, if you you look at their record, they're, um, they're very, very impressive. And we gave it our best and came up a few seconds short. OK, anything from Mondays? Anybody? Nope. Okay. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you very much.